Hi guys, the sound won't be as wonderful as you are accustomed to. We're listening to a webcam and that's not important. What is important is that for another proof, right? This PC has been installed on January the 2nd of 2020. So 2021, 20, we're at almost end of 22. So keep rolling keep updating is not a far-fetched idea you just keep on updating in between from january the second to the fourth to the sixth and so on and there are jumps in time like huge jumps and that's okay as long as you have the knowledge you don't need to update daily weekly even monthly as long as you have the knowledge you do it when you feel like it now here we're jumping from july 21st and we're now 26th of September so August in between there and basically I just tell the system to update now this is arch this is arch this I have always this reference SSD arch Linux pure right and um, you can always check again and that's interesting if you're building if you're an ISO builder and you have Carly and ALCI and you have uh, Arch Linux in these three with this one you have four things to compare with and that's how you learn compare melt so update no can do it's something that we have invented in an alias that we use on Arclix. so we go back to what we know and now we get this kd sdk is gear slaves and oh, yeah i suppose yes right so or an enter capital Y so I can do an enter or actually type yes so enter is good enter and lots of tesseract things oh my god right default number one I have no clue what this is about but yeah go for it I'll remember tesseract and I get a long list 2.6 gigabytes 2.6 is a bit a lot eh? but net upgrade 740 megabyte isn't really that much as an operating system update for two months three months three months no three months huh? so you just go and have a look at all these names and yes um, we have uh, more than XFCE installed let's see what we have user share X sessions there is left WM and plasma so plasma has always been my default setting on Arch Linux here but of course I can live without left LM so left LM is on there as well so both of them and I'm now on left LM so watch and learn all these names some of them will stick some of them are more important than others well, one of them is of course Linux the kernel so we need to reboot There's no new Arclinx RKDE that look for Plasma. Linux headers is here. The tweak tool. I have the dev version here, so the development version. New code is tested in there. Lots of Plasma stuff, right? But also here, a new left WM upgrade. Firmware stuff from Linux. Another SMB client for the guys who use Samba. Might mess things up, might improve things. That's with always with updates. Well, you just keep track of all these names, learn them bit by bit, and after five years, you kind of know more or less mm, half of it, maybe a quarter of it. So lots of these packages also dependencies. So less important than the actual application that you want my opinion anyway and here we have the keys there we go again thank you arch so sudo pacman minus s arch linux keyring and that's all you need to know if you don't you don't and then you're stuck i update again yes 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 we know now the drill
and off we go. So this is always the tricky bit, these lines, right? Checking the keys, checking package integrity, loading package files, then we generally check if the file conflicts, is there enough space or place on your hard disk or SSD or NVMe, check, yes, then we go ahead. And we're upgrading stiff stuff and all that. Always, um, well, updating, first of all, do it in the terminal, right? And see what's going on. Here, maybe you see that there are now 15 supported from Arch Linux, uh, based Arch Linux distributions. Here is the message with Grub, right? The Grub problems we've had. So updating Grub is a message, but it's, it's dot, dot, dot. I mean, you need to just to figure out what you do there. That's not easy. And then the what we call the update grub line, that's this, that's an alias for us on Hercules. So we have to have to watch out for the grub. And your tesseract. Probably something that plasma needs. I don't know. I'll Google it later. Well actually we have this Pac-Man up here normally. We can have a look at Pac-Man. What is Tesseract? Ruby stuff. And here we're gonna read. So we have DKMS for the virtual host. We're gonna install in the drum file system. So that one, just one Linux kernel. Uh -huh. There is no grub message here. I don't see any grub message and update grub is not known. So what I'll do, easiest, easy peasy, the easiest way actually is to have a look at our bash RC. This is the standard Arch Bash RC. Beautiful, right? What if I could get my own? What if I just launch the Arch Linux Week tool? See what I mean? I think I'm in Bash. Probably. New fetch. I'm in Bash. I go to the services, no shells, and I install the ATT bash RC configuration. ATC bash RC is applied, so apply bash is already in order. Didn't have to push that at all. When I type update, it's not found. So if I source the, let's go all the way, <laughs> complete pathway, right? If I source this thing and update, he knows my aliases, which also means he knows my update grub. So that's done. But prior to this, we are now on the pseudo pacman minus s y grub. What version are we on? Version 4, which is a good one. But there is this line I need to do as well grub install. Now, grub install. I have to just have a look at the little screen here. We have an alias. Right. And the alias is pseudo grub. Oh my god, grub. That's the application. And then we're gonna tell it as targets. Target or targets. Target. Okay, x86 underscore 64. What am I typing? Numlik is now on. Grub install up. Grub install. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, I see what the, with all these arrows, I went arrow up. Eh? So, sudo grub install. Then target equals x86 is an underscore, underscore 64 
we are fine. Nope. Now it has to be correct. And then tell them where the EFI directory is. Directory. No. Equals boot EFI. Alright, so quick check, boot EFI. Alright. And then we say enter, installing, Isaac is happy and with an update group, just to be sure. I've done everything I can, right? I've installed the latest group. I did the grub install targets. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I've done this line. The number four of grub is installed there. And this line is going to install it again. Well, see on what you are, right? Control T. See what you're on. Ah, okay, please, thank you. And then you know I'm with I'm actually on UFI, not if this line is not there, you're not biased, right? You don't need to do any of this. It's just for the UFI guys. So yeah, EFI, UFI, EFI is for those guys. And then we install this and then we update Grub. And when I reboot, then everything should be okay. If it's not, right? You always, always have to learn any video you can grab about Arch Shroud. Watch, watch, watch till you understand that there is magic in Arch Shroud, right? You can fix any Arch Linux based system with this command. There are a few things, and depending on BetterFS or X4, it's a bit com more complex. But stick to what works and X4. It's simple, keep it simple, keep it stupid. One operating system on an hard disk, on an SSD, on an NVMe, and you can easily fix anything. So this is what I would do on my Arch Linux system, knowing all the things that happened on Arch Linux, on, well, all the Arch Linux guys, right? And DevRest Grub, we all had this new Grub coming in, and depending on how we work with mirrors and, and how we work with packages, keeping them in testing repo or something, I don't know, um, it, it has a different effect or impact on the distribution. Yeah, well, um, so this would be the trick. I hope uh, I'll reboot later on and I'll have an Arch Linux system with a grub that's working. All right, cheers.